Hello everybody, Trano here, and today we're continuing our look at the Aerial Superiority Dev Server. And today we're going to be looking at a new French SPAA vehicle, the TPK 6.41, or to give it its full name, the ACMAT TPK 6.41 VPC. And that's coming between the AMX 13 DCA 40 and the AMX 10P at battle rating 5.0 rank 3. Now, as you can see, this is basically a truck with a Orlikan cannon on the back of it. So you've got your dual 20mm Orlikan cannon. It's got a reload rate of 9.1 seconds, targeting speed in the horizontal 40 degrees and 41 degrees in the vertical. The gun has got an optics of 1.93 times zoom, and it is capable of firing three belts. So, well, it only fires two ammunition types, HFRAP and High Explosive Fragmentation Incendiary Tracer Shell. So you've got your default, which is a mixture of the two shells. HE, which is majority HEFIT shells with a little bit of HFAP. And then you've got your AP belt, which is majority HFAP with a little bit of HEFIT shells. So basically, no matter what belt you're using, you're always going to be able to penetrate about 37 millimeters of armor at 500 meters. But of course, with the AP belt, you will have more AP shells, while the HE belt will have less. And obviously this is extremely unarmored, so it's just made up of structural steel, so even machine gun fire will easily deal with this vehicle and the crew inside it. The engine actually doesn't seem to be present at the moment, I assume that's just a bit of a glitch from where they haven't actually fully implemented it, but it's supposed to be a 227 horsepower engine, and it's got a quite remarkable top speed of 61 miles per hour. So a very fast vehicle, quickly able to nip around the battlefield, and it's got a crew of six. So you've got your gunner at the back here, and then you've got at the front of the cab a driver and commander, and behind them you've got a machine gunner and two loaders. So you do have a large amount of crew, but honestly, they're going to be dealt with very easily. I mean, just one bullet from the side can easily knock out all three of these guys, and one burst can kill everyone at the front here, and then you're done for. And even if they're attacking you from behind, well, the gunner's completely unarmored. Apart from his seat, which hilariously enough is actually modelled as armour so I suppose technically he has some rear protection and I suppose technically if somebody fires at the front of the gun to so say the gun's pointed rearwards you do get a little bit of protection from that but not much to be honest I mean if you're firing the direct roll he's still going to be extremely exposed to enemy fire and so yeah this is a welcome addition to the French tech tree and the French SPAA line would have been nice to see something between the AMX-13 DCA-40 and the CCKW-353 AA, because at the moment there's like a 2.0 gap here, whereas between the AMX-13 and the AMX-10, there was only 0.6 of a battle rating gap. I mean, it, the gap has been filled nonetheless, but would have preferred to see efforts focused around the Tier 1, Tier 2 area. But this will be a very welcome addition to the French SPAA lineup, and yeah, I'm quite looking forward to playing this when I unlock it on the French tech tree. Anyway, just a quick video for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you'll join me for the next one. I've been Toreno and I'll see you next time.